one. Hey guys, for another night here, bringing you a new episode of Gold Guild SMP. This might be episode 20. Not quite sure. I don't actually count them, but whatever. So anyhow, as you may have noticed, there's this new thing over here. I'm going to explain what it is in a bit. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a slight. I'm going to give. I'm going to show a couple of new things that spawn, which I'm, which includes that, and I'm also going to do a base tour of my base. Um. But also, I know I probably said I was going to do a base tour of everyone else's base, but there's 11 members on the server, so it's going to take me forever to find and tour each and every one of everybody's base. So like, orange. I know where Orange Apple's base is, but then there's like some people's base which takes like four minutes to get of trends of going through the nether just to get to their base so it's going to take forever for me to cover everyone's base so i might as well just cover mine and i mean if you guys have a problem with that leave that in comments down below and i can give a tour of everyone else's bases in the future but otherwise i don't think i'm going to give a tour of anyone is everyone's base so anyhow um Let's go ahead and show off a few new things that spawn. We're going to start way down here. Jonah's chatting up you guys even though uh, he, he was muted for most of the part. So he's also opened up a redstone shop. It's not yet open but he's going to sell stuff like sticky pistons, pistons, stack of redstone, tripwire, and all that jazz. Anywho, also Maximum and Orange Apple have been working hard. They took down some of my path um, to the PvP arena that I made. And what, what, I mean, I guess I understand it. I, and It's not like it's totally gone, but still, they could have at least given me the supplies that they took him down. Because I, I, I haven't gotten any supplies and I still had to use my supplies to repair some of the path that some people did not repair. When creepers blew up, so I still had to use some of my stuff to repair it. So it's a little bit annoying that they didn't give any of it back to me, but that's the way it goes. But anyhow, they made this court um house. So if you enter it, um, they just finished it like just today. So I'm probably the first one making a video about it. Um, no, got plenty. Um, so. Here's the judge. Yeah, and then I guess you can go down here and be someone else. I don't know how I don't know how this court thing's gonna work out. Maximum had made a court thing earlier and then took it down because well like he was a lawyer's office or something. Regardless, I don't know how this is I don't know how a court's gonna go. I mean I can see that th there's been a few incidents. There's been lots of drama on the server lately, so I can see why we might need a court, but personally I don't know how we're going to, I don't think anyone's going to want to be brought to court because we, we can recognize when we've done wrong and whatnot. So, hey, this is open. Maybe I've done a sale. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, anyway, now over here is something that I built. Um, so, employees only, enter without permission. Entering without permission will enter without permission will lead to a server lawsuit against you so I'll, if someone does enter this um I can sue them through the court so I guess I'll get use of it the lava is a bit uneven on the top I'll fix that at some later date but what, whatever the reason here it is I haven't changed the title of it yet so I'm gonna do that real quick because we are now going to do business if I can grab my freaking sign this is bouncing all over the freaking place so, what I tried to go here for is a skull, but some people think it's something else. Like, they think it's an alien. Like, I put some endstone here instead of, like, quartz or white wool because I wanted to try to give the skull an aged look, and I thought endstone would be white at the same time aged-like with its texture and whatnot. And I wanted to have the skull, like, have some kind of weird glare, so that's why I put obsidian because it seems to be a perfect black substance and it's a really tough substance, so... I thought that would give it its glare, and then I wanted to give it thanks while at the same time, um, you know, at, at the same time, let you enter through its mouth. 
and somehow I think I've created, and this is what it turned out to be, and some people think it's an alien versus predator kind of thing. I mean, I can see that. I can I can honestly see that, but um, that was not what I was going for. But anyhow, let's go ahead and give this thing a name. All right, the curse shop is now officially open for business. Yes, I made something called a curse shop. Reason being is, first off, there's been so much drama on the server. Like, so many people are out to get out against one another, or were well, out to get one another. It seems like. So, I decided, you know what? Why not make a why not make a market off it? Why not make a profit off everyone's rage against each other? That seemed, and we can't seem to keep our cool off it. Why not do that? So, here goes the curse shop to make a profit off those who want revenge. Now, here's a funny story about this curse shop. As I started building it, now keep in mind, there was no signs on the plot when I started building it. No signs whatsoever. So I started building it, and then all of a sudden, Maximum came over and he said, Hey, dude, this is Matt, This is Orange Apple's plot. So I was like, Oh, crap, it is? And Orange Apple came over and he's like, Yeah. So I started to take it down. He's like, Oh, no, 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 you can have it. And I asked him, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, good. I, I have a couple plots claimed already. And you seem to know what you're doing as I'm not sure what to do with this plot. So I ended up getting this plot after all. So I built all this. I've used cracked stone. I was going to use spruce wood, but um, apparently like the lava moat that I have outside, like these corners, for whatever reason, are not solid. So like the, the wood would catch on fire on the inside. So I, I changed it to stone for so that's the way it goes. Um and but then but then as I finish it like I, I just as I finish putting lava on the top I get this notice from Blitzinity that apparently he had claimed this plot but he forgot to put a sign, then Orange Apple claimed the plot, then I then he gave the plot to me. So Blitzinity is kind of mad at me right now. He he is not. He said he, he on a couple on a on a comment in the comments he has told me I owe him a couple times. So personally, I don't think I owe him anything. It was a all a huge misunderstanding, and technically it was claimed by Orange Apple. So if if anyone owes Blitzinity, it's Orange Apple. But um, because Orange Apple gave me the plot. So, I, I don't know what to say right now. It's just all this confusion, all this chaos that I keep getting caught up in that I just don't want. But regardless, that's what that's kind of the backstory on this build. But um, it's finished. It's going to be going. Let's read the curse shop guidelines. Because first things first. Um, I, I've made these guidelines so my shop is protected from any lawsuits or whatnot, so I, I am protected lawfully to continue my operations. So that's a, this book would help me with that. I've only got four chapters because I only need them. So like the intro, this is a curse shop. Basically what you do is pay for Ferno to lay a curse, and basically a curse is a, a large scale prank and that would, that, um, is done on a person's base but not but keep in mind none of the pranks will damage property or um, kill the player it's just supposed to make their survival a little bit more difficult or intolerable to do and basically how to order a curse you take one of these books books and quills you write down what curse you'd like out of these four curses that I have so far I'm not sure if I'll have any more, but out of these four curses, and then you place place it in this hopper, as well as the payment for the curses. That's pretty much all you can do. That's pretty much all it is. And if and if you specify a target, like you can put if you just put like for example, I curse Linky ten to nine with the chicken curse. Um. Yeah, I curse chicken Linky ten to nine with the chicken curse. Um. And then put the payment in, and I'll go and 
curse Slinky Chin 1029 with a chicken curse. But you can specify a certain area, like, and I want his bedroom with a chicken curse. I want his... and whatnot. So, oh crap, I just remembered there's a third freaking curse. There's a, I have five curses that I can do. Um, uh, I'll have to reset everything in this later. So, right now I'm only going to do four, but I, there's a fifth one that I can do as well. So, I'll have to do that at late. I'll have to set that up later. Um, so, that's how you can order. Important, this is my disclaimer. This is my, the, um, this is, a, this is basically my way to protect myself lawfully. Lawful, uh, yeah, protect myself from the server. From any suit lawsuits or anything like that, please note that Ferno is doing the curses. Cause although Ferno's doing the curses, he's not responsible for the outcome. So if like, if, if, if for whatever reason you're like cleaning up the curse remains and you get blown up by a creeper, it's not my fault. Even though I'm the one who cursed you, I was paid by someone else. I was paid by someone else to get back at you from something you may have done to them. And let me get back to that page. All customers are anonymous. I know I've spelled this wrong. Deal with it. But all customers are anonymous. You don't. They don't have to put their name in the book that they are laying the curse. And I have no. And I don't need to say who did the curse in the first place. It's your job to figure. If you really need to find out, it's your own job to figure it out. Someone can order like a private detective services to figure it out. But I am not going to reveal who laid the curse on who because for, 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 for one reason I may not even know for another reason if I do know I want to try to protect the server from any future drama if you got cursed you just have to deal with it but I'm not going to name names unless it is unless it's going to result on me being kicked so unless I'm unless I am threatened to being kicked I probably won't name any names but honestly with uh, with these type of curses like I don't think any of these will lead to me being kicked. I I've made sure to make sure that um I mean if I if I thought this would get me kicked I wouldn't build this in the first place. But I wanted to make sure that um I'll be protected lawfully from anybody who wants to mess to just um who wants to just use me as a sample of because I'm doing the curses so I should be kicked off. I just want to make sure I'm protected lawfully from any suing and whatnot because now we got a court. So the curses, you can get the locust um, curse which is the target's crops are all mined out and placed in nearby chest so basically even if they're not fully grown I'll mine them out so he has an imp, the person, the target has an empty plot and I place it in the closest chest to that plot. The chicken curse, the target's base, is onslaughted by eggs resulting in baby chicks inside. Basically, I take as much eggs as I can. I throw them randomly throughout the base. You can specify if you want to search an area, like I said earlier, like um, someone's bedroom or just upstairs. I can just release chickens all only in the, that area, and they can do what they want. The overgrowth, the target's lawn, grows grass and trees everywhere. Basically, I bone meal the area so tall grass grows, and then I also put some trees and put make it so it's like they have a little forest surrounding them. I mean, I guess that's not too bad. They'll get some free wood out of that, but to, but <laughs> it's going to make their base look a little bit uglier. The vines, the target's base is coated with vines. I I have some a, a vine thing at my base. I'll show you guys in a second. And if no curse is specific, if no curse is specific is specified, that might be spelled wrong too. Specified. It's supposed to be specified, but I don't know. There will be no curse, and money will be dropped in the refund chest at the bank. I'll go ahead and show you guys the refund chest, because pretty much that's all there is. Oh, actually, I want to show you the payments for these curses. So, like, if you notice that some of these curses, like, all I'm doing is throwing chickens, a eggs, in someone's house, and I'm charging five emeralds for that, or like. I'm mining out people's crops and I'm charging three emeralds. That's relatively expensive, but I don't want I don't want I'm trying to avoid curses from happening often. So if you I want to make sure that you really, really want to curse prank somebody. Um to get even back at them or to get even with them or whatnot. But I don't want to start like 
I don't want to be running to and fro trying to curse random people that I'm being told to. I don't want to make this like a thing where I'm doing this. I don't want to, I don't want to have too much business in this shop. It may sound funny, but I don't want to have too much business in the shop. And so I'm charging hefty prices. So that way only if you really want this to happen, I'll go do it. Or you can do it yourself and then you can get lawsuited and whatnot. So you can go prank so someone yourself, but this is like the only way yet. But this is probably the only way you, you, can stay protected from whatever prank you want against somebody. So, that being said, let's go ahead and continue. It's daytime and it's like turning night, so we've already spent too long in there already. That's not really cool, but... Um, so, I put the curse refund chest next to my big chest, so it, if for whatever reason you didn't put a curse or and you just paid... Even if it's even if I even if the payment is like three diamonds, so I know it's the locust curse. I'm going to just I'm just going to take the money and put it back in the curse refund chest, curse shop refund chest, and you can get your money back from there if the curse has never happened. What is the Enderman doing in there? Uh, yeah, Gecko, you might have a problem. I don't have anything to take it out with, but um, anyway, let's head back to my base so I can give you a quick base tour. Um, I might as well check my mail while we're at it. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow you're going to get a night broadcast channel. Your pro this video is probably going to come up like Thursday or Wednesday. Or something like that. So let's check my mail to make sure Liz still has to check his mail. Um, let's hop on past these pigmen. One of these days, I'm gonna have to edit the end portals path because if you, if I, cause um, well, well, like this path, I think Lucindy's been changing, but whatever, I don't care about this nether path. But if we go into the end, you'll notice that we're on the edge, and once a big, huge slime came into the end and almost knocked me off the edge, and I had some good picks on me, so I'm gonna have to edit like the end, like make a path that's safe to get to the fountain without having to run into Enderman, as well as I'm going to have to make some kind of wall barrier around the obsidian, so that way I won't, no one is that threat when they enter the end of getting knocked off the platform, because that, a slime knocking you off the platform is not a good way to go. Alright, so anyway, we're back at my base. Um, so, I don't know how much of a base tour I've given you guys from the past, but Here's like probably the main air, one of the main rooms. Right now I'm sleeping in this room, but um, actually let's move my bed. I'm risking everything moving my bed right now because it's just morning, so I need to set my spawn as soon as possible at my actual bedroom. But here's this area. I'm not sure what to quite turn this into yet. I think I might turn it into like a dungeon or something. Um, here's my storage. I've got lots of stuff that I'm storing, like, this is, this is stuff I still don't know what to do with. This is all stone. Ugh, all that cobblestone, all this mossy stone bricks, and all these cracked stones I just don't know what to do with. I've got too much stone from trying to mine out, um, mine out this stuff to clean it up to make it this stuff. I didn't need to zoom in on that, but you get my point. I also got a wood chest. A random chest, which is like those two, a mob drops, and some gear. Let me go ahead and drop Burner back in here. I almost lost him today, so... Oh, and I also repaired Burner. I'm sorry I did it off camera. I meant to, I wanted to do it on camera, but that's the way it goes. Um, now, over here... Oh, I also did this weird torch thing that I did in my Furnos Modded Survival series. I, I'm doing the whole tor torch, hol uh, torch holder thing because I think that looks cool. I'm not sure what to turn this wall into but over here we've got my wheat farm so I'm growing wheat. I've got plenty of bone meal too so I can so I don't have to worry about bone meal. Up here I've got a little nether wart farm. I'm planning to use it to help to see if I can get some extra iron from gecko because I'm, I'm collecting some nether wart so I'm thinking of selling it to either him or maybe Linky if Linky starts selling nether wart. It's just right now Gecko and I are partnered with the potion shop and I actually have some potions to give him. Don't know 
they all left. After you. There in a call, I think. Okay, so anyway, so here's my food chest too. I might as well grab some cooked salmon because we're running out of fish. I need to start fishing again. Really ask me question and leave right after. Also, I've got the I've got an automatic furnace set, so like I'm cooking, I'm able to cook some stuff, and um, so it, it gets pulled down to here. Also, I've got a chest up here with some coal and charcoal, so that way I'll never run out of fuel. So it's constantly putting coal in there. So I all I all I have to do is put stuff in there, and I'm good. And I, I really like this system. Like I'm sure someone else has set up a system similar, but this was like totally experimentation for me. So like. I just threw this together and hoped for the best, and it actually worked. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure someone else has done this before, so I, I, I just, I just want to state that I haven't looked at anything like that. So, oh, I need to change these nether brick fences to something else. Don't die. Well, I'll worry about that later. But here's my egg farm, so here's where I'm getting my eggs now. This is strictly for eggs, so I'm probably going to put more chicken so I can get more eggs. As you can see, some of these walls have still not changed. Here is my um, my vine farm. So for the vine curse, so all I have to do is use shears, and I can collect some vines. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of vines growing right now. So um, I might as well collect them right now. And then throw them in here, and voila! I've already got some. I already got some good amount of vines, and vines grow. But, but because I don't know when someone might go onto the server next, I have to, I have to put a certain number of vines in there. Here's also my cocoa bean farm. I was start. I was trying to do a pumpkin farm, but a melon farm. But for whatever reason, they don't grow underground. So I don't know if it's like a certain light thing. And I tried to fix the light thing, like putting torches directly over them, but they still don't won't grow. So I don't know what's wrong with them. I actually had the bone meal them to get that much. Now over here, down this blue path with some glowstone hidden underneath, is my bedroom. If I can get in. And also I have my dog in here too. It sounds like a slime died by this lava thing down here in this tunnel. So why don't we go ahead and put our bed down. Go and sleep at night, but hopefully I set the spawn. Oh, I got some more random stuff stored in here apparently. I didn't... I forgot I had this chest way out here, and I forgot I had chests in this chest. I've been making chests all this time, and I didn't realize I had some chests. That's the way it goes, I guess. But yeah, I've been storing some stuff in here. So here's Ember, the dog, from uh, First Minecraft Adventure. I'm going to put a name tag on him shortly. Here, I want you to get a little... What was that sound? Oh, that's a zombie. Never mind. Come here, puppy. Come here. You're a little too close to the wall. I don't want you to get stuck inside. Okay. And now I'll push you this way. I'll get behind you and push you out. The reason I don't want to get stuck in the wall is because like, I have lava right here and I just, just don't want to risk it. Like, Let me just go ahead and push him out this way a bit. Anyway, yeah. Here, there's my dog. Now I'm going to take you guys outside. I, uh, this base is a secret location right now. None of the members, as far as I know, none of the members have found it. Maxwim has claimed that he's found it, but then he said, then he later told me that he's lost it. But until, until he's given me the coordinates, he may have found someone else's base and thought it was mine. Oh, I also have a carrot farm right here. I'll have to mine them out later. But let's go ahead and go upside. Outside, this is the elevator to the outside. This is a very long elevator, I gotta tell you guys. Um... I'm at like y equals 4 down there, and I have to go all the way up to y equals 109 or 190 or something. So this is a very long elevator going straight to the top. I, I, was, I, was, I was just thinking that stairs would be too long and whatnot, so I just decided to make an elevator. But what I think I should do is I should leave this elevator, but then I should make a down a going down elevator. Like, like that's just a drop and then drop me into water. So that way, 
Um, I don't have to go down because you go down at the exact same speed that you're going up. So just water by itself might be too slow. I keep leaving this door open. But anyhow, here's kind of like my location. I'm out on top of an extreme hills biome. I've got lots of snow so I can make lots of snowmen. I'm making a barn down there. There's an ocean. We've got some more rocks. I've got like a little beach and I've been mining out lots of sand for another project. I've also get there's also a jungle biome way over there. And also there's a nether portal that's in this jungle biome that seems to connect to Richard's house. So like I've got a sh if I go down that down into the jungle enough, um I can actually go I can actually do a shortcut to Richard's house. So that's pretty funny. I, and it kind of gives me an idea. Well, Linky is good. actually Linky has that had this idea in land for Land of Veselia, but um, but but me actually almost proving it. Like my for whatever reason, the Nether portal inside my base is connected to the spawn, and now I found a portal in the jungle that's connected to someone's base. So it makes me wonder if I make a portal just like off yonder this way, would I connect to someone else's portal? Or will I go back? It it just it's just the concept. I could make I can literally make portal shortcuts to everyone else's base without having to ever go to spawn ever again. Now it's kind of pointless because the like I said, I go to the Nether Hub when I go through the portal in my base. So pretty much everyone else's base is kind of short. It's just a short distance away. But yeah, like but yeah, I mean, I can literally go to everyone's base. That's uh, just by, um, but but if I if I, the Nether portals connect all to each other and they can't get to my base because their their Nether portals are already connected to like I went into I tried going to Richard's portal but it leads to where his portal's supposed to go and whatnot so it doesn't connect to spawn at all, which is kind of funny. But that's the way it goes. So it makes me wonder, can I connect more portals to go to, so I have shortcuts? I mean, I guess for some bases, like Angel or Gaming Space, or CM Bro Brockman Space, like, it takes four minutes to go down the path just to freaking get to their base. So it might be worthwhile making a shortcut to their base if I ever wanted to visit them. But, yeah. Oh, also I got a sugar cane, ugh, a sugar cane farm. Stupid Optifine. Um, also got a mushroom farm, although it's not quite as growthy. I don't know why. I'm wondering if there's like a certain number of mushrooms that have to be in the area. All oh, right, my bed's not down here anymore. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go set my spawn. But I think I'm gonna call this episode quits. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you um. If you have any feedback or like to just say hello, please leave that in the comments down below. Um, I also think I'm probably going to try to do a broadcast either this week or next week. So it would have to be on a Friday. But um, I'll. But if you uh, if you uh, like to see that, check out my Twitch channel. It's in the description below. So check it out, follow it, and you'll get the notice for when I if I do do a live stream. I'll also, also check out my Twitter, Instagram, and whatnot because I'll also post when I'll do a live stream on those social media sites as well. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.